Hare Krishna, I am Rajat Krishna Das and following is Shlok 20 from Bhagavad Gita, Chapter 2, Contents of Gita Summarized. The spirit soul neither takes birth nor dies, nor does he experience repeated creation or growth. He is unborn, eternal and ever-existing. Though primeval, he remains ever youthful. When the body is destroyed, the soul is not destroyed. Na jayate mriyate va kadachin nayam bhutva bhavita va na bhuyaha ajo nityaha shashvatoyam purano na hanyate hanyamane sharire For the soul, there is neither birth nor death at any time. He has not come into being, does not come into being and will not come into being. He is unborn, eternal, ever existing and primeval. He is not slain when the body is slain. There is never any time when the soul takes birth or dies. There was no birth or death for the soul in the past nor will there be in the future. The soul does not take birth in either past, present or future. Thus, the soul also existed in the past. The soul is ever existing. It is not destroyed in past, present or future. Therefore, the soul is eternal. If one still raises a doubt that the soul exists for a long time, therefore he may be overpowered by old age. Shri Krishna responds, says, No, that is not true because soul is primeval. He is ever fresh and free from six kind of uh, transformations namely birth duration of existence growth to creation old age and death if uh, someone is still raises the question will the soul not die even figuratively at the death of the body Sri Krishna's answers no because the soul has a uh, no relationship at all with the body. Qualitatively, the small atomic fragmental part of the Supreme Spirit is one with the Supreme. He undergoes no changes like the body. The body is subjected to six kind of transformations. It takes its birth from the womb of mother's body. then. It remains for some time, then grows, then produces some effects, children, then gradually dwindles and at last vanishes. The soul, however, does not go through such changes. Anything which has birth also has death. The soul is eternal, ever existing and primeval. That is, there is no trace in the history of his coming into the being. Under the impression of the body, we seek the history of the birth, etc. of the soul. The soul does not at any time becomes old as the body does. The so-called old man therefore feels himself in the same spirit as in his childhood or youth. The soul does not affect it by the changes of the body. The soul uh, does not uh, deteriorate like a tree nor anything material. The soul has uh, no byproduct either. The byproducts of the body, namely children, are uh, different individual souls. Owing obliged to the body because of it and they appear as a children of particular men. The body develops because of a presence of a soul. But the soul has a neither offshoots, children nor a change. Therefore the soul is free from six changes of the body.